Hi guys, this is Edward, and welcome to the 13th tutorial of creating a Flappy Bird game with Godot. So, in this tutorial we're going to be working on the audio so the game feels more alive. What we will do is create a global scene that is going to contain all the sounds. And since that scene will be global, it will be quite easy to play sounds from other scripts. But just before doing so, Let's place all the sounds in our project under the folder name Sounds. We created a folder named Audio for this purpose, but I think that Sounds is a more meaningful name. So I'll go ahead and delete it. The folder I just copied already has all the sounds we'll use, so we are ready to go. And of course there will be a link in the description with the sound files. So back to the editor, I'm going to create a new scene and I'll add a sample player node which is meant for playing simple samples or as I understand it for playing short sounds. I'm going to name it audio player. I'll hit Ctrl S to save this scene in the scenes folder under the name audio player.csn. You can see that we have a warning here, telling us to create a sample library in order to play sounds. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll click on the samples property, and then on new sample library, and then click on edit. And that will open up the sample library editor. In order to add sounds, we just have to click on this icon here, and under the sounds folder, I'm going to select all the five sounds and click open. And from here we can play sounds. Delete them and even make some modifications. We are just going to use them like that. Now there is a property in the sample player known named polyphony, which is the maximum amount of simultaneous voices. Or as I understand it, the maximum amount of sounds this node can play at once. Since in this game there won't be a lot of sounds playing at once, I'm just gonna set it to 10, which will be more than enough. And that's pretty much everything we need to do in this scene. We don't have to create any scripts since this node already comes with the function name play, which we can see by having selected the node, clicking this icon, and then on opening help. And we can see here the function play, which has the name of the sound as a parameter, which is pretty much all we need. To make this scene global, I'll go to Scene, Project Settings, and under the Auto Load tab, I'll add the audio player scene. Let's close this panel. And we are pretty much done with the scene, so I'll go ahead and close it. Let's first implement the flap sound. I'll open the bird scene, go to its script, and in the flapping state, we have the function flap. So in here, from audio player, we're going to call the function play, and as an argument pass, SFX wing, which is the name of the flap sound. Let's give it a shot. And when the bird flaps, we can hear the sound. Let's do now the hit sound, which will sound when the bird hits a pipe or the ground. So in the function init of the hit state, we will play the sound name SFX hit. And the same in the ground state. Let's try it out. When the bird hits the ground, we can listen to the hit. And when it hits a pipe, we can hear it too. But the problem is that it sounds again when hitting the ground. And in the original game, it never sounds twice. We'll still want it to sound when hitting the ground, but not if it hits a pipe before. So to address this issue, we'll have to keep track of the previous state the bird was seen. So at the top, I will create a new member variable named previous state. 
And in the set state function, just before changing to the new state, we're going to set previous state equal to get state. So we set it equal to one of these constants we use as identifiers. And now back to the ground state. We will play the hit sound only if the bird that previous state is different than bird that states hit. Let's give it a shot. I hit the ground and it sounds. I hit a pipe and it only sounds once. The next one is the die sound, which is the sound of the bird falling. This one won't perform in the ground state since the bird won't fall from the ground, but it'll sound in the hit state. So along with the hit sound, we're going to play the sound name SFX die. And this will play both of the sound at the same time. But the die sound has silent at the beginning. So you seem like they play one after the other. Let's try it out. And when the bird hits a pipe, we have the hit and the die sound. Let's now go for the sound for when the bird goes through a pipe. So I'll open up the coin scene. And in this script, when we have a collision with the bird, we increase the current score. And now we'll also play the sound SFX point. Let's try it out. And when the birds go through a pipe, we get a sound. And last but not least, it's a simple sound from where we go from one stage of the game to another, which is kind of like a transition sound for the user interface. So let's go to the stage manager script, and right after playing the animation fade in, we will play the sound SFX swashing. Let's give it a shot. And when we change the current stage, the sound plays. Well guys, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you have found this way of playing sounds useful. Don't forget to like and share this video. Thanks so much to all my patrons. I appreciate the support. And until next time, see you later.